Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a Wednesday evening look at our weather for the week ahead. And you can see right at sunset in Marshall as well as in Texarkana, a mostly clear sky, also mostly clear in Shreveport right now. We did have a few isolated thunder showers down towards Natchitoches. That activity is gone as we're in for a dry and mainly clear night tonight across the area. Weather pattern shows the upper level ridge, which uh, basically you can see the center of it here off the coast. It does extend back into the lower Mississippi Valley. And uh, again, this ridge is uh, working to limit the rainfall, but it's going to be weakening here in the next couple of days as we'll see the slight chance for the stray shower thunderstorm return Friday. And then a disturbance will kind of develop across the middle of the country. And that's going to uh, bring more moisture in from the Gulf of Mexico. And as a result, by the weekend, pretty good shot for the showers or thunderstorms. Looking into the next couple of days here with Robin's Toyota Futurecast. Uh, before I show you the forecast, so let me go ahead and show you, uh, again, Futurecast. You can see that uh, we are looking at a mostly clear sky across the area. A few low clouds will be possible late tonight, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow we'll see the mix of clouds and sunshine. Futurecast kind of hinting at a spotty shower, a possibility, but 10% or less as far as any rain at any particular location. We'll see the mostly clear sky tomorrow night and then Friday a little bit more coverage on those spotty showers so maybe 20 percent for your rainfall chances for Friday and we will see those chances go up uh, this weekend. Now the reason why I mentioned that disturbance developing let me take the upper level pattern here and advance it forward and you can see the disturbance beginning to take shape here right in here is where we have a little bit of a ripple kind of showing up in the streamlines and you'll see that kind of uh, become more enhanced uh, as it uh, basically sits like this uh, with the center of this disturbance up near Chicago by the time we get to Monday morning and we will see as this continues to develop the increasing chance for some rain uh, we will see this continue until probably the end of the week through uh, Tuesday especially a decent shot for the rain and then we will see uh, again uh, things kind of quiet down some late next week. Now as far as rainfall potential it does look like models have kind of uh, increased the projections here over the course of the next few days, uh, next 10 days. It's looking more promising that more of us will have a chance of seeing a good inch but generally speaking a half an inch to an inch would be a reasonable expectation but there could be spots that pick up anywhere from one to two inches of rainfall. As far as your latest on Fred, the advisory this evening shows that Fred is now a depression since the center is moving over uh, the landmass of Hispaniola. Uh, we are going to see it continue to move towards the west northwest. You can see it moving in, in that direction right now. And the latest forecast, this is the four o'clock forecast. They issue those forecasts every six hours from the National Hurricane Center. And you can see that uh, it still looks like just off the coast uh, west coast of Florida is where we could see uh, Fred Pass should strengthen as it moves by Florida with another uh, landfall as a strong tropical storm probably as we look ahead to Sunday night Monday morning this path means no impact on the weather here in the Oracle Tech. So again here's your forecast for tonight as we are looking at uh, lows that will fall into the mid to upper 70s right around 77 in both Texarkana and Shreveport. Daytime highs tomorrow should Climb back up to that 96, 97 degree range with heat index values again, 105 plus heat advisory once again in effect for all of the area once again tomorrow. Uh, now, as far as before I show you the 10 day, just a reminder in case you missed it earlier, uh, and I also did post a blog on this on our website, uh, it is the peak of the Perseid meteor shower. Uh, we will have a clear sky tonight should, should, with the uh, only a crescent moon very early this evening. Moon's not going to be an issue. So good viewing tonight. Uh, don't forget the bug spray. And it says here a peak of 100 meteors per hour. That's probably a stretch. If you're in a, you know, out in the country, 30, 40 per hour, maybe. If you're in the city, the number you won't see as many because of the light pollution. So uh, again, the peak of what is some consider the best meteor shower of the year uh, is tonight. Meantime, looking at uh, your 10-day forecast, you can see that we will see temperatures cool off with the rain increasing by the end of the weekend. We'll see highs in the low 90s. Lows will probably stay in the little middle 70s for uh, the vast majority of the region as we head towards the last half of next week. 
Uh, the rain stays in the forecast, but the rain will become more isolated in, in nature as daytime highs return to the middle 90s. So it looks like a break from our heat wave is on the way with a better chance of rain and uh, below normal temperatures as we look ahead to the end of the weekend especially.